All right, so let's start over the new chapter now. So uh, chapter 14 is about the conjugate compound. Okay. Conjugate compound. So the conjugate compound simply means that uh, if you have a carbon and carbon and carbon and carbon bond, you're going to have an alternating, alternating, <coughs> Single bond and double bond. So if you look at in this uh, here, you can have a single bond here and double bond here and another single bond here and another double bond there. Uh, that makes really good uh, conjugate uh, compound. So if I give you a very simple example here. It looks like this, right? So you have a double bond here and here. So we know there will be four carbon. This is a butene because the ENE because it's double bond here. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna actually number the carbon to locate the double bonds here. So which will be one, two, three, and four. So you can have one and three as a location of your double bond in this. A conjugate compound. So you're gonna put one, comma, and three, butene over here. Uh, but one thing you need to do is that you have uh, more than one double bond there, right? So we're gonna do buta. So we put a is here. So it's not but buta and put da because there are two, not just one, and e n. So we can name this the 1,3-butadiene. Okay, so this is a really good example of uh, conjugate compound. Okay, because you have a double bond, single bond, double bond, and just the alternating single and double bond. Uh, this is a really good example of conjugate uh, compound. Um, so how about we looking at this one over there? So we have five carbons instead, and try to locate those one on the uh, end, okay? So maybe you have a one and four carbon, actually one to two and uh, four to five, we'll only choose the lower one, right? So the one and four, <coughs> so one, four. This is now five carbon, so it will be 10. But once again, just put A, okay, penta, and then there's a two double bond. So it'll be di, because di means two, right? And E and E means double bond. So it would be 1, 4, <laughs> pentadiene. Uh, this is with this one. But uh, as you can see, this is not conjugated. Because the you have a double bond here, and you also have a single bond here. But you have a not double bond, but single bond here. So this will not make this compound conjugate. Because it has to be always alternating to each other. One, single, double, single, double, like in a sequential manner. Uh, but this is not, so this is not a conjugate compound, just a one diene compound. Uh, so this is the, uh, we talking about this conjugate and non-conjugate compound, because this will show you quite different uh, chemical characteristics. That's why we care about this one uh, so much, okay? So this is why <coughs> this is conjugate, it's not conjugate, non-conjugate uh, compounds, uh, so on, okay? So uh, maybe we can make it even bigger. That's possible. So can you do even do this? Yes, you can do this. Okay. So maybe this is also uh, even longer, right? But now you have a six, so the hex. Uh, but this will be now three, so the hexa, so A here. And now there, uh, instead of two, there'll be three, right? So we just put try, try. Try means a three, right? And E and E means there are double bonds. And just look at this one. So one, comma, three, comma, five, hyphen, hexa, try. That's also possible. So this is the basic rule how we can name this the conjugate compound. Or now conjugate with the several numbers of double bonds. But if it's alternating double, single, single, double in a row, that is a conjugate compound. Makes sense, right? You get perfect. So I'll just move on. Okay. 
So what is so special about this one? Um, this, the, this is quite common in the nature too. So if you look at this one, oh, I might be out of space. Oh my, okay. So I'm out of space here. Uh, this is a trick. Sorry, I can't do it. But this is a lycopene. Uh, you can find it easily in the tomato uh, or other vegetable, uh, which is, you can find this one, right? Double, single, double, single, double, single, double, single, double, single, right? So this is a good way you can see where they can be conjugated. So this is also one of the good example here. You can easily find this in the nature, in so many other vegetables. You have a uh, this compound. Okay. This is the uh, progesterone. So uh, if you look at this one here, even there's a double bond with the oxygen, which is carbonic groups, it's a double bond. Uh, that also makes the pre-conjugate part of the compound, which is also common in uh, common compound in nature, is uh, one of the hormones. Uh, so this will do something different uh, chemical reactions or different chemical property. Uh, so this is why uh, we're gonna look at why it's so different from others. Okay. The, <clears throat> actually, there's one I'm just going to briefly explain today, but uh, not so much today, because we're going to do this in the next chapter. Okay? So if you look at this one, double, single, double, single, double, single, two, and this benzene, right? But if you do this, if you do this, you can also do this one too, right? Okay? So interchangeably, you're going to have So this is what we're going to do next chapter, uh, but this is also a good example of uh, conjugate compound, uh, benzene, uh, but uh, this is simply saying double single, double single, double single, and they can always do something more uh, unique property if we can find later on the chapter, okay? All right, so the, sometimes we can make those the ions from uh, this uh, cyclohexane, right? Cyclohexane. Okay. Uh, we can try to treat it with the <coughs> M from a succinylate, succinylate, okay? MBS, with the, some organic solvent with a lot of uh, light and heat energy there. And then what happens to this one, we can go to uh, analytic bromination. Meaning, uh, you have a, a little position here and here, because this is a double bond and single bond, and this is where you can have some, the, <coughs> sorry, a little carbocation ion, carbocation here. So you can actually have an addition on bromine right here, in this position. Uh, this is what it's for. And bromosuccinated, uh, this is a quick review from over one. Uh, this is where you can use the little uh, carbocation ion position to add in your halogen groups there. So if you do this here, uh, what you can do next is you can use potassium tubitoxide. Okay. Oh, let me write. Okay, with a bit of a basic condition. Okay. And definitely we'll grab the hydrogen over here, right? So that goes there and that will leave. Okay. So in this case, you're going to have also very good uh, conjugate compound, which is 1,3-cyclohexadiene. Uh, okay. So which is, uh, we have also this part double, single, double. So this part will be very well conjugate as well. So this is uh, one way to make the, um, 
conjugate compound. Does it make sense? To show you another way, <clears throat> that is, uh, if you have some kind of uh, the alcohol with the hydroxy group, right? Uh, you can treat it uh, with the some type of uh, the, the acid catalyst, acid, or you can just say uh, some uh, metal oxide. Okay, either way is fine. It's a lot of heat. And then uh, what happened to this one is the dehydration, uh, de <coughs> the dehydration. So they're going to have uh, in this type of uh, uh, conjugate compound as well too. So uh, there's a so many way to make this the. Uh, you can also use other acid too, but uh, this is a separate example you can do with the making. Very good dye also, especially in conjugate form. Okay. So if that is the case, um, the here's one thing I can show you. Uh, this is kind of interesting, I think. So uh, if you look at this one, and just a regular butane over here, uh, this is double bond for sure, right? This is double bond for sure. So it will be shorter in the bond length here. Uh, and this is the larger bond next is the weaker bond than double bond. But this bond should be the same, right? This is a single bond, this is also a single bond, right? So bond next should be the same here and here, theoretically, right? Because this is a single bond, not double bond here. But uh, when we compare the average bond length between this single bond and this single bond, this is a conjugate compound, this is a regular arcane. This is a slightly shorter. This is a picometer, which is a 10 to negative 12. So it's even 1,000 smaller than nanometer, which is really small. This is about 1 to 3 picometer. So now you see, oh, what's going on here? It's not the same single bond anymore when it's conjugated. Uh, so let's try to look at more. Okay. So when you try to, so me, this means that this is slightly stronger, which is a bit shorter. Uh, so th these two must be doing something, right? For sure, other than here. Okay, so just keep this in your mind. Okay, what's happening to this one? So the way we, the scientists did is the entropy change of the hyd hydrogenation. Okay. So they tried to measure what might be the energy coming out from this hydrogenation reaction here. So the one thing you need to know is the if it's more substitute arcane, it's more stable. So the amount of energy in form of heat will be lower. Okay? So if it, if that is more stable, which is more substitute arcane, then it's going to give us less amount of heat in, in uh, after the hydrogenation here. So well, what they did was this one. They try to do hydrogenate this one first. This is the one, one double bond here, right? And that energy was about negative 26 kilojoule per mole. Okay. So, but the, the point here is this one. I, I told you it has to be same degree of substitution there to compare uh, equally. So if you look at this one here, I didn't show you on the picture. But this is uh, what it looks looks like. It's this carbon here. There's one hydrogen here, right? Because you don't see it, uh, but this is a double bond. So we only two hydrogen here, and just the, this is another R group, which is R group here. This is a carbon one, two, three, and four. So this is also one hydrogen over there too. So from this double bond view, it has three hydrogen and one R group there, right? So it's a mono substitute. This is just one. There only one R group uh, attached to the, your double bond there. It's a mono substitute. Okay? It's a mono substitute. So if this is a mono substitute, and this gives this amount of energy, uh, let's compare this one to these two. So we try to compare this one to these two. Okay, this one and this one. Okay, so this is the one I uh, also showed you before too. 
So if that is the case, this is also the same. This one has two hydrogen over here, and one over here, one over here. Oh, I'm sorry, two. But you don't have to worry about this one. Sorry. One, two, two over here, right? And this will be two, one, one, two, two. So if you look at this one too, this is also a mono substitute here, right? There's three hydrogen, only one R group here. And this double bond has hydrogen here, three hydrogen and one R group. This is also mono substitute. And this is also the same mono substitute, because this is only one R group, three hydrogen, three hydrogen, one R group, so it's mono substitute. So uh, mathematically speaking, this one has this one has one double bond, right? And if you do hydrogenation here, this is much of energy will give will, will give us two. Okay? Then instead of one, and also this is all mono, same degree of the substitution, it has to be just equal one. Right? But instead of one, there'll be two. So it has to be two times negative two, 126 kilos of one. Okay? So they did this one. And it was about almost the same. So it's supposed to be 252, right? If you double this one, it has to be negative 252, right? But it was negative 253. So it's almost the same. Because the, it's the all same substitute, the double group, but just doubled it. Because it has two double bond over there. So it makes sense. That makes sense, right? That totally makes sense. So OK, how about this one? So it also has a two mono substitute double bond. So it has to be negative 20, I'm sorry, negative 252. But when they measure, it was only negative 236 kilojoules per mole. So it was less than expected. And this is almost the same, but this is uh, very different. This is 16 kilojoules per mole, much difference. And that means, once again, <coughs> the, like I said before, if it's more stable, meaning it will give us less amount of heat. You guys remember that, right? So this one gives us less amount of heat energy than it's supposed to be, which did in non-conjugate compound, but conjugate one had a lower. Meaning, this is more stable than this one. So conjugate compound is more stable than non-conjugate one even though they have the same substitute, same number to the uh, double bond, when they go through the, some, the hydrogenation, this is the one that is more stable. Uh, it kind of makes sense that they're already in a very low in energy state, meaning it's more stable. So when the alkyl comes out, the, the gap between these two will be smaller. That's why the heat energy was lower, meaning indeed it proves that this conjugate compound would, is more stable than the one is not. Okay. Kind of makes sense, right? Kind of. So, so let's let's talk about why. <clears throat> so if you try to look at those the electro potential map in three D map, the the difference between these two is the. Um, they can actually do a bit of a, uh, so even though they do, if, if there's a single bond between these two, uh, they're going to have a slightly stronger, and slightly shorter than regular bonding when it's, okay. when it's that, because this one has what? SP2, SP2, and this is SP3 all the way, right? So. Uh, if you have a uh, more content of the S orbital, which is close to the nucleus, uh, meaning uh, even though this is a single bond, because of the uh, affection, affection from the sp2 on the board side, they will be a bit more stronger. Uh, so it's what we call molecular orbital theory, right? So in this case, the we kind of looking at this electron as more like a electron density map. Like the, the darker electron density map you have will be the higher probability to find the electron sort of thing. So it kind of literally, what it says, conjugated because of those uh, the 
infection from the um, two SP two SP two. Okay. Okay. And then there's one more thing to explain. <clears throat> so, what is so different about if it's the conjugate or non-conjugate thing? So, if you look at the carbon, if you get of double single double single over here, they do have p orbitals, right? It's, you remember this one? Right? So one double bond has what? One pi bond and one sigma bond, right? So one we just talked was about the one in the middle, in the sigma bond wise. SP2, SP3 was about the sigma bond. How about we talk about this, the p orbital for the pi bonds for the, this double bond on the both side here. So um, how can I explain this? The, the wave function, you guys remember wave function, right? Wave function. So wave function will tell us the if it's going to be uh, anti-bonding or they prepared the bonding. So if it's anti-bonding, you put the start sign which is asterisk, and if it's making bonding, this the one we over here. And then if you think about, I just want you to know about this one. So the P orbital has the two dumbbell shape on the each side, and the one is the on the other uh, uh, directions, right? So if it goes on to the same color, it's plus minus plus minus or plus minus. It doesn't really matter, but meaning it, when they close to each other on the same color, they make a bond. So meaning when they comes close to the, the same side on on to <coughs> proximity uh, uh, distance, they will make bond. Uh, it's like uh, it's not really good analogy, but uh, if you think about it, it's easier. Uh, but it's not perfect. But this is uh, maybe somewhat helpful for them. So if you think about the wave, okay, you can you can in your mind you can make this is a plus because it's on the up. It's a negative. It doesn't matter which one goes up and plus. Uh, but if they're on the same side coming to together. You're combining wave together, right? That makes what? This. So if this is the where you can use it for finding electron, definitely they wanna do the share the same, that space for the bonding. So they will make bonds. Uh, but uh, this is a wave function, but the orbit is what? the wave function square. Uh, so they put it in the 3D to make it more like a 3D density map. But the, the bottom line is pretty much similar. So same side, does it make sense? Same side coming in, they make a bond, and they will be more stable and located at the lower energy status. So if this is energy level, uh, the bonding is always lower than anti-bonding, always. Because the day, the two elements comes in to make a bond to be more stable. There's no, there's no such a thing. Make a bond and become more unstable. No, they always do make a chemical bond to be stabilized. Because the it's nature of them to be more stable always. They always go through. So if you roll the, if you roll the like a ball on the high position, it always goes to the down right. Because they, when they go down, they lose their potential energy. So when they're on the lower position, they're more stable. So you never seen the boards going up naturally, <laughs> up here. You never seen that before, of going against the gravity. No, right? Same here. They always try to be in the low energy state, so they can have a common ground to share the electron. That's bond. It's kind of makes sense, right? So uh, if if that is true, you see this one as the other side. Then they have to cancel each other. So there will be there will be where you can find some the what we call node in the function which has zero possibility for finding electron. There's no way you can find the electron there. That's why that gives us the anti-bonding. This is where you will see no chance to find anywhere in that region uh, the electrons. Okay? So that's why we call this is a <coughs> So, but instead of two, 
In conjugate one, we have we have four, right? Not just two, right? Okay. Not two, right? Because it's a carbon, 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 double, 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 and single, right? So if that is the case, best scenario will be what? Best scenario will be what? Best scenario will be they're all in the same side. Right? For sure. Okay? So if not just two, there's four. The best possible scenario is the uh, this one. Okay? So they're all top and bottom conjugated with the same color. Okay? Makes sense, right? Because this might be the best one for sure. What might be the worst one? Let's go all the other way. Okay? So this is uh, canceling. All four of them. So there will be a lot of anti here. Okay. And then uh, second best one is they have a uh, two are making bond. It's good. Here and here. So there will be only one sort of thing. The second worst one will be the one in the middle. There is an on the other side, like this. Okay. So there'll be so there'll be three nodes, two nodes, one, and there's no nodes. So this is the most optimal condition for them to follow to make the bonds. And this is a preferred uh, way to they make some uh, uh, what can I say? Make a bonds in the condition which. You have a double bond, single bond, double bond that makes those conjugate compound more stable. Okay. So the I'm not gonna lie, this won't be on the exam, but uh, this is why high works though, okay? because of the p of it all on each side that makes four in a row. Uh, that's why the this is why when you look at the uh, <clears throat> when you look at this one in the actual uh, measurement over here, they also show some partial double bond character. Here. Even though it's a sing even though it's a single bond, they do have a somewhat double bond characteristic. It's very strong. I mean, relatively speaking to other regular single bonds. Uh, because of that, okay. kind of makes sense. It's good. This won't be on the exam, but this will help you to understand why they're more stable, more much more strong bond together. Okay. But that makes sense, though, right? The conjugate one is more stable and more uh, stronger bonded. Uh, that uh, that's really good takeaway, you know. But this is also obviously help you why it's so different from others non-conjugate compound. So the uh, if that is the case, I just gonna remind you a couple of things. If you have a the, uh, something like this one, let's see. <clears throat> we try to give you. So if you have a maybe it's like a double one like this one here, right? Uh, just one, just one in place. So if you look at this one here. Uh, for example, the, the you guys remember this? The this one will go through. The possibility is here that it has a the, okay. We have a this one bound to so this wall. Grab this one first, right? So you can have a here, right here, okay. But do you guys remember which one is the most stable? Uh, Perfect, yes, upper, because this has more something with uh, here, right? So this will make more stable carbocation position. So this will be, among these two, this will happen, right? And then this will give you this one. So this is a quick review from the older one. You guys remember this? It's just because of the higher stability of more substitute uh, carbocation. So this is why hydrogen will be here, not here. 
because that makes a less stable carbon cation that makes bromine more um, extendably attached to this position, which is more substitute position of the carbon okay, than this position. So try to remember this one, okay? Try to remember this one. <clears throat> and then uh, if, it, if that is the case, um, the, how about we try to do this with the diane, right? So if you, if you uh, think about this one over here, uh, what you can do, So uh, what you can do is that you can try to put this one, obviously one of this. So maybe this one will grab the hydrogen over here, right? And then this will become here, and this will become to this position, okay? So this is kind of makes sense, right? So you're going to have uh, this one that bound to this position over here, uh, this position here, okay? Makes sense, right? Because it's the same, same thing I just did over here. With the but the conjugate compound, uh, but here's one more thing I want you to remember. Uh, beside this one, we also have this one, but they also have uh, this one too. Uh, so this is what we call one two addition, and this is what we call one four addition. Uh, it's a literary position of the carbon, so it was added one and two, but in this product is one and four. Okay? So uh, what happened to? So you know what it happened for sure. So I'm not going to explain this one, right? But this one is what happened was this one. So uh, when when you bond to uh, when you bond to over here, you have uh, the carbon cation this position over here, right? And then uh, what it does was they actually move to here, okay. So double bond now, and the pair of electron goes on. The pi goes on to the next. So that's why you have a double bond in the middle. You had a double on the side, but this one has them in the, in the middle. That's this is why they moved it to here when they found the carbon cation position number two. So they become like this. So the charge is now on here, okay. And then bromine. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, that's why you have uh, one position still hydrogen, that's correct, a double bond now in the middle, and you have uh, bromine attached to the number four carbon. Uh, it's, a, it's a because of it's conjugate. If it's conjugate, when it, whenever you have a carbocation charge, it's right next to it. There's another double bond is right next to it, right? So they can do a little a little carbon cation, right? Carbocation, carbon cation. Okay. So this is one. Okay. <clears throat> Does it kind of make sense? Okay. So uh, it it is because of the uh, it's a conjugate. So if you try to do it with the this one will not happen. It's only for the conjugate compound. Right? So let me give you one more example. So let's try to do. Okay, let's try to do this one. Okay, let's try to do this one and try to treat it with this one. So this will be a bit tricky because you eat. Oh, sorry, not in here. Was actually okay. So you have a conjugate part over here, but you're going to have a 1, 2, and 1, 2, 1, 4, and 1, 4. So there will be four possible scenarios, but you have a three product. I'll explain why. Okay? So you see the double one here. So either you can start from 1, 2, 1, 2, will be 2 for each of you, 4, right? But eventually you'll get 3. I'll tell you why. So you start from here, then maybe you can add the hydrogen over here, right? It grabs the hydrogen over here. Okay. Then uh, you're going to have uh, this position is carbocation, right? So then bromine will comes into that position here. Okay, makes sense, right? Uh, but you have another one that is what? If you 
attack here. This is uh, the cover canine position, but this will move to here, uh, just like before, right? Move to here. Uh, when it moves to there, the, they change the position. So now you have a double ball in the middle, and you have a cover cannon over here. Okay. So then uh, you're going to have this one. And then, uh, and then if you if you try to do it over here now, okay, let's try to do it over here. So if the, if this is not this was a one two one four, right? Let's do one two one four over here. So if you do this, there will be hydrogen here, okay? Uh, this one, okay? This one right here. And also another one would be one four. Okay, so be one. Uh, but there will be a cupcake ion, but this will move to there, right? You see this will move to. So there. Okay, so the if you look at this one over here, um, this is uh, somehow you can find the one that has the, the if you look at this one over here, uh, they're actually the same thing. Do you see this one? Uh, so hydrogen, right? Okay, and there's two, so there'll be three actually. So there's a four possible scenario but uh, because of this symmetric group, it makes the symmetrical uh, they can just uh, same. So, be, okay. So this is the same as the uh, HCL, okay? HCL. Uh, but just the, whenever you have uh, the, the conjugate compound, uh, because of the one, two, and also one, four, you may have a different numbers of products, not just one. Kind of makes sense, right? Kind of, we good? So uh, let me do this again on next Monday because the, uh, we need to know what happened to one, two, and one, four addition uh, 100%. And uh, so we can talk about the next topic. Next topic is about the kinetic control and thermodynamic control products which is coming from here. So I'll make sure I'll do this again on Monday, uh, but this is a very good uh, exercise for this topic. Uh, today. Okay. So I'll just stop here.